One of the most amazing thing about birds is you can see and hear them from almost anywhere. So I'm gonna show you right here one of uh, these the tools that I have that I like to use, which is a guide to backyard birds, and it is from Mass Audubon. And in here, it shows a lot of what we call backyard birds because they're ones that are typically coming to, if you have a bird feeder in your backyard or in your area, or just ones that you might see around your local fields or when you're on a walk. So on here, we have a red-winged blackbird, we have a common grackle, gray catbird, American robin, blue jays, sparrows. So by looking at this, you might have known what some of those birds are by looking at them. But what about by hearing their calls? So that's what we're gonna take a look at today, is I'm gonna pick five of the most common species of birds that are found around here and, and look at what their calls are to hopefully help you to be able to identify them by ear, which is a really fun activity because finding these birds, depending on their size, can be pretty tricky. You might hear it and you're looking around, you can't find them. So it can be pretty cool to be able to identify a bird by their call or sound. So I, when I've been going on my walks each morning with my dogs, I've been looking around to see what are the most common birds that I'm seeing. So there's five that I have chosen that we're gonna go over and I'll list those for you, but I'm not gonna play them in order so that hopefully when you hear them, you can get a chance to take a guess at what it is if you maybe have heard that before. So we have a white-breasted nuthatch, a red-tailed hawk, American robin, blue jay, and a black-capped chickadee. So we're gonna go on and I'm gonna play one of these for you. So this is the first one. So I'm gonna let you listen first and you might say, ooh, I've heard of that one before. So you can take a guess at what it is before I reveal it. So that's one call and I'm gonna play another one because this is the one that I find that I hear more often when I see them. So to give you one last hint, this is one that is usually on the ground. You usually see them in the grasses because they like to eat worms. So that's the most common place that I see them. And when I do go for walks, the field across the street is covered in them. So if you were guessing the American Robin, you were correct. And you can see it has that orange chest here. So that's a pretty easy way to help us to identify them. So the next one we're gonna move on to, I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, but let's play it. So this is uh, one that kind of associates with their name, the first call. And then this is another noise that they make that we hear pretty frequently. So if you were guessing black cap chickadee for that one, you'd be correct. And that is our state bird of Massachusetts. So they are pretty common here. And so we see and hear them a lot. So that kind of high pitched whistle is one that you can look out for and hear a lot. So this is the black cap chickadee here. And you can see black cap up here and then uh, the black throat right there. So that is our black cap chickadee. And this is one of the smaller birds. That's why it can be really hard to see them. But if you hear them, now you know what you are hearing. And you can try to look for them too. All right, so now we have our American Robin and our black cap chickadee. Let's move into our next bird. This one is a little bit bigger. They can be a little bit louder and they're more colorful. So they might. this might be one that you're used to hearing and seeing a little bit more. With pretty loud call. And then I'll play this one here. So when there are many of them, it can be very loud because they can be found in groups too. So if you guessed the blue jay for that one, you are correct. And I'll show you that one as well. Of course called 
blue for its coloring here. And they are part of the Corvid family. So these ones right behind it, Black-billed magpie and American crow are in the same family. They're a very intelligent family. So that is why the blue jay is also known for mimicking other birds, one being the red-tailed hawk. So that is a really cool feature of the, the blue jay. So sometimes you'll hear different noises and they trick you a little bit and it's actually a blue jay. So now we have our American robin, black-capped chickadee, blue jay, and we have two more. So. Let me play the next one. I don't want to give it away. So this is one. All right, and I'll play another one. So very similar sounds, just a little bit of a different tone. So that one is the more trickier of the group, the white-breasted nuthatch. And in this uh, little guide that I have been sharing with you, they only have the red-breasted nuthatch on here, but it's a very similar bird, the red-breasted nuthatch and the white-breasted nuthatch, and they look very similar as well. But I chose this one also because they, when you see them, they're very easy to distinguish because they usually go down on the tree. So beak first down on the tree. And that's because they are looking for insects within the bark and they'll actually even store some of their food in the bark. But they have a very interesting way of getting around on, on the trees, which is beak down, which is pretty cool. So that helps you to identify them when you see them, that they have that special movement. All right, now we have one last bird, and this is the bird of prey that I wanted to put in here, meaning that they eat other animals, usually other mammals. So that is a very typical noise that many of you have probably heard before, and that is our red-tailed hawk. So that's one that is very common around here. We actually see them at the zoos a lot. We'll see red-tailed hawks around. Um, some of them sometimes trying to look at some of our animals for a snack, which we have to be very careful of with some of our smaller mammals. So they are usually eating rabbits and squirrels, but they can also eat um, reptiles and amphibians and other small birds as well. But red-tailed hawks are really cool because when you hear that noise, you can look up and you'll almost always see one circling around up in the sky, sometimes multiple of them. And they make that really high-pitched kind of scream noise. So they're pretty easy to distinguish and then you're able to see them and they have that red tail. So those are our five species for today. So I hope that you learned something and that you can use your ears to help you to identify what some of these birds are. So if you're inside and you, and you hear that noise, you might remember what some of these calls are. So hopefully I'll have some fellow birders out there that are gonna go and take a look at some of our local species. Or if you have a bird feeder, taking some time to watch the birds that come to it. Bye.